Hey there, come join me for a day in the life. Good morning. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. We've kind of had a relaxing, like kind of sleep in morning, although I didn't sleep very well. There's like a lot of construction outside, so I'm a little tired, but I haven't gotten Aubrey yet. She is still in her crib. I got to get her ready. And I thought I'd just bring you along in a day in the life. I've mentioned in some of my trying to conceive videos that like I'm having some like weird medical things like that need to be taken care of. And I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty. Uh, I figure I'll let the doctor like diagnose me before I like share symptoms and like anything like that. Um, obviously I've, I've been dealing with these, the issues that I've been having for like a year now and they haven't been fixed. So I will be sharing in a future video, assuming they get resolved, um, like what the symptoms are and like what I actually have and what to look out for because it is quite annoying. Um, one of the symptoms that I'm hoping to have fixed is like I have flaky skin in my eyebrows and I don't know if it's like eczema or if it's like cancer, like I really don't know what it is. Um, it started when I got pregnant with Aubrey, I think, maybe right before, I don't know. But like it's, you know, not really pretty and I don't like having like f big flakes of skin coming out of my face. So that's one of the things. So anyways, the reason I bring this up with all of our health insurance switches and stuff like that because of Juan getting out of the military, we're finally setting me up with another doctor because we've had like so many switches and I just get so anxious with all of this like grown up stuff. And so I'm having a doctor's appointment in like 10 days. And so because I love my sugar, I figured I'm going to start like a 10 day, like really limit sugar and carbs just to see if that has any effect whatsoever on like any of my symptoms, <laughs> you know, like at least I can rule that out in going into this appointment. So I'm going to bring you along, I guess, with what I'm eating. And I might do like another video where I just totally take care of everything I've eaten. Um, I'm also going to be trying on a sparkle and pink little outfit. This is not sponsored by them. Um, last Christmas, Aubrey and I had a little matching shirts that were nice and sparkly. And I was looking at their website again and Juan was like, okay, like I'll get you something. So like, I actually forgot what he ordered. I think it's something tie dye, but I'm going to go ahead and open this up now. And then maybe Aubrey and I will be matching today. Alrighty. Hey. Okay, so it's not tie dye, but it's like a pink and blue, I think like kind of sweatshirt, but kind of a shirt thing. This looks way too big for her. I think you might have ordered the wrong size for Aubrey. Maybe not. Never mind. I mean, it says large, but if anything, she'll grow into it for sure. But it's like a nice little like hooded like light feel. It's not like super heavy. And then mine is just much larger. Ta -da. Let me put this on now. It, it feels nice and warm and cozy. <laughs> also because we had it on top of like a computer. Ta -da. So I got an extra large just because I didn't want it to be like super like form fitting, but I think it fits well. What do you guys think? Let me go get Aubrey dressed in hers. Good morning. Mommy, shower. Your sock on. Let's get your socks on, okay? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I forgot that I put a little sock on your foot. To add to you, light. You want the light on? You want the flash okay. on? Okay. Okay, make the elephant sound. <sniffs> and make the monkey sound. Oh, oh, oh. And make the panda sound. <laughs> and say yay. Yay. And say mama. Mama go. <laughs> All right. There. 
there's the flash. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so I got her dressed. She kind of had a little bit of a meltdown, so I didn't want to record that, but she looks really cute, and it, I think she's gonna definitely grow into her little jacket. And I wanted to show you guys this little contraption that I made using a Dollar Tree basket and Dollar Tree zip ties. I zip tied an old phone, kind of like that, and we downloaded some movies and stuff so I can go on walks and she's happy, and then, have a little bucket here for her snacks and then I kind of just store more snacks and stuff up here in case she wants it and you like that setup huh <laughs> and I took off my little matching shirt because I know I'm probably gonna get sweaty and I don't want to like ruin my shirt in the first like hour of wearing it so I will be putting it like back on after I like cool down if I get too hot if not I probably could have worn it but better safe than sorry so let's go on our little walk. So on our walk, we passed by this really big tree and on the ground around it, there were these really small looking pine cone like things. And so I went ahead and picked some up. I thought that maybe I could make a cute little craft out of it. Maybe like some little tree figures or like a wreath or something. So we're gonna do this later today. Can you say oh, fun see. walk? Oh, fun. Fun. All right, well, that was a really long walk. We were gone for like over an hour, ran into some people, chatted a bit. Um, I obviously got a little sweaty, so I'm gonna shower and get back into my matching tea and then finally eat some breakfast. She ate, but I did not, so let me go do that now. Okay, much better. I've got Aubrey set up with her eggs and I'm cooking some eggs in the microwave right now just because that is what works for me. We're gonna enjoy this and then uh, probably just play with some of her toys and then when she goes down for a nap I will be editing videos for you guys and I will be making that little craft using those pine cones so I guess I'll see you when I do that cheers Should we eat some apples? Okay. Okay, can you pick mommy an apple? Mommy's hungry. You. You're hungry too? Nom, 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 nom. Can you catch the fishy? Okay. What should I do with the fishy? I do that. Do I eat it? Okay. Um, yum, 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 yum. Are you going to be an EMT when you grow up? Good job. Okay. Day, day. Say day, day, mama. Day, day, mommy. 
Okay. Okay. I was gonna do my craft, but I'm a little tired. So I'm gonna take a nap and if I wake up and she is still sleeping, I'll do my craft. Otherwise I'll save it for tonight and I will still show you guys. Okay, so I took a nap. It was well needed, although I kind of woke up prematurely, which was unfortunate. But I'll be looking forward to going to bed tonight. And then I came down, ate some chicken because I'm hungry. <laughs> this whole not having necessarily just in general foods I love is tough. But that's okay. The chicken was somewhat filling. I think I'll probably eat again in a little bit, maybe have some green beans or some type of vegetable. But as I was sitting here, I saw yet another package from Sparkle and Pink. And it is addressed to me. So if it was a surprise one, too bad. I'm opening it up. I think he went ahead and bought this tie-dye thing. I can't say this was, I don't know, well, it's very soft. Ta-da! It's like super soft. I can't say that this was like the color that like when I remember like looking at the stuff like that I wanted, but it is very pretty. Plus it kind of like clashes with the colors that I'm wearing right now. So I think this will be fun. And he got Aubrey one too. Out of the two, which one do you guys, which one's your favorite? Which one would you be wearing? Would you be wearing the galaxy tie dye one or the more neutral blue and pink? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Okay, so. Now that this is opened, Aubrey is awake. She's like opened up her blinds, but she's not like whiny yet. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare the little tiny pine cones that I found on my walk um, for our craft by rinsing them and then maybe even throwing them in the oven. I've heard that that is a good method because there could be little bugs in there that you really don't want like crawling around your house or whatever once you display your new craft. So I'm gonna get that prepared, maybe get like the little pine cones soaking and turn on the oven and then head up and go get Aubrey and then just kind of do the rest of the prep. <laughs> and then later tonight, or maybe I'll do the craft with her. She'll probably make a mess and that will give me anxiety, but uh, better that than I guess lose sleep tonight. So uh, yeah, let me go get that ready and I will show you guys maybe a little bit more up close how cute these little pine cones are and then we'll go get Aubrey. Hello. Yeah, we have matching shirts. What? Yeah, you went day day. Now we're now we're gonna go play. How do you go day day? You get cozy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Say play, mama. Play. And say hi. Hi. Blow kisses. <laughs> Good job, I love you. Okay, I've got my little helper here and I'm gonna get started. Mainly, I'm just gonna take these little guys and like hot glue them around and then on top of each other and probably gonna save this one till the end because I don't know if I'll have enough to make a really big tree, but let's make some little mini ones. Aubrey, show me your pine cone tree that you helped mommy make. Wow. What do you think about that? What do you think? <sighs> it's been a long day. Um, I think my little pine cone things turned out okay. I may add some like white paint on top of it to make it like a snowy look. 
and I would envision like making a whole bunch and like really decorating up like a tabletop, like a nice long table with other decorations as well. But I don't know, I just wanted to do something with those little pine cones because I thought they were really cute. I guess we could have also made like a circular wreath. Maybe I'll go and collect some more and make some like that too. So anyways, um, Aubrey's now put down for bed. She kind of put up a fight. It's it's 8.51. Um, she probably went into bed at like 8.30 or 8.40 and that's like normal for us but like I kind of feel like she should be going to bed earlier because most kids do. But anyways, I'm having a late night snack because I'm still hungry. I can afford it calorie wise and I figure fruit, as long as I don't go overboard and have like tons of fruits a day, one piece of fruit or two pieces of fruit is fine, like because it has sugar in it, but it's natural. And then get some protein and peanut butter. Figured this would be a healthier dessert and hopefully satisfy my cravings. I'm not enjoying this no sugar or no added sugar type thing. I do enjoy my coffees and those usually have like sweeteners in them and stuff like that. So that is a struggle, but if I can figure out what is wrong with me or at least rule that out and say, hey, it's not my sugar, I can have more now um, with what I'm dealing with, like it's worth it. And I might lose some weight. So today I started at like, I'm back up you guys, 205.7 or something like that. So you never know, maybe in 10 days, I might be a lot later and that would be okay. So I will do a video of like tracking everything I'm eating throughout these 10 days. So you'll get some weight updates in like a future video. So don't worry about that if, if that's something you want to see. But I want to thank you guys for joining me today on my random day in the life. I'm excited about, you know, my sparkle and pink clothes. If they want to sponsor me, I'm all for it. But this was a non-sponsored video. And I like my little craft. I hope you guys liked it too, or maybe got some inspiration from whatever I'm doing. And I will keep you guys updated on my health as soon as we figure out what's actually wrong, because I don't want to, you know, project anything and then have it be false. So thank you for joining me. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. That helps out our channel. If you guys are new, I'd love to have you stick around and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, my name is Emily from Lima Bean Living. Welcome, we are so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.